Can you put it in an email for me? What's the best way to get around this? Yeah, so objections, I think through a three-part framework, it's empathize, validate, offer. So before you handle the objection, just acknowledge what you what you heard. <laughs> so, oh, hey, sounds like you want to get a better idea of what this is before you commit to a meeting. No problem. Um, I'm happy to send you an email, but before I do that, I'm really curious, is this going to be something that um, you're going to be looking at? Is it going to be something you're going to want to forward to your team? Get an idea of who it's going to be sent to you. And then I'm just going to ask a couple questions there to figure out like what I could put in that email. Uh, hey, Ryan, you mentioned that reducing cost of serve was a focus for you. Um, is there anything specific that you want to see around how other companies are using digital assets to reduce the cost of serve and get people to you know, call less into the, the contact center? Yeah, yeah, we're looking to do this, blah, blah, blah. See if you can do some light questioning there and get a few tidbits from the prospect. And then we're going to circle back and just ask for the meeting one more time. So Ryan, uh, can I make a crazy suggestion? Yeah, yeah, what's up? Um, all of those things are exactly uh, challenges that we've heard from companies like A and B. Uh, would it be a terrible idea if we just set aside 10 or 15 minutes? I could run you through some of those stuff, share some of the insights. And if at that point, you don't want to talk to me anymore, totally fair, but I, I think there's really something here for you. Do you have your calendar handy? I'm going to go in and ask for the meeting again. We all know here, we've been doing this long enough to know that when someone says, can you send me an email and you send them the perfect email, the response rate is like near zero on that. <laughs> so let them know that you are willing to comply, get a few more questions in, and then ask for the meeting. And so context matters around when this is coming up, right? So can you put that in email? Did they say that? in the very, very beginning before you even got past hello, or was this after you've gone through some two-way dialogue, et cetera? So what Jason just shared is spot on. Um, and the most important thing here is to make sure you do follow up. So ask for the meeting, even if you don't get it, still follow up. Getting, yep. um, getting that email out and then following up. Follow-ups have about I don't know, two or three X increase in conversion. So I wouldn't use it as an objection. There's no way around it. Sometimes it's an actual request. And so if you follow some of the tactics that um, Jason just shared, but then also make sure to follow up. And when I mean follow up, like within a day or two, uh, that's when you're going to see that compound uh, effort from phone, email, phone payoff, uh, even if you can't book it on that first conversation, but everything else Jason shared is spot on. Um, it does matter when they ask that question, right? If it's in the very, very beginning, it's likely an objection or a brush off and you absolutely need to get into what Jason already mentioned. Now, if you've already gathered some of that information, maybe you can just recap, say, great. So from what you've shared with me today, I'll put into this, this, and this, does that sound fair? Or would there be anything else you'd like to see? And is there anyone else that's gonna no. see it, right? That's another way to recap that. So it depends on when, when that question was asked in the conversation.